Hello everyone, welcome to a very jam-packed Friday product post. As you can see, we have a ton of new products to talk about, so without any further ado, let's talk about what we've got for this week. First up this week, we've got a lot of new products from Modular Robotics. They are the makers of the Cubelets. Cubelets are these great little modular systems that just snap together like that, and each one has a unique function and you can just snap them together and make them do whatever you want to do. All 16 of them are actually live on the site right now, so if you go to the site and check out all the new products, you can see all of the cubelets. I'm just going to talk about the first eight, and then next week I'm going to talk about the other eight, and then put together some massive contraption that uses, you know, all of them all at once. The clear ones are basically um, action cubelets, as they call it. Think of them as output cubelets. For instance, um, this little guy is the bar graph cubelet. It has a little 10-segment um, bar graph there, and depending on the input it gets from something else, it will adjust the lights on the bar graph. So let's say you have a light sensor cubelet, a battery cubelet, and then one of these. You just snap those three together, and then the bar graph will adjust based on how much light there is. This one is a rotate cubelet. It has this little rotating platform up top. And the thing about the motors, um, both this one and the drive cubelet, is they actually will drive based on the input that they're getting. So once again, if you put them up with a light sensor, depending on the light level, they will either drive faster or slower. This guy is the speaker cubelet. It emits a sound when it um, is connected to the other cubelets and when it gets some sensory input. And then this guy is the last action cubelet that we have. This is the flashlight. Um, there is a nice big white LED inside of there, and that, of course, just emits a light. Um, these three colored cubelets up here are called think cubelets. They actually um, interpret the sensors from the black cubelets and then actually do something based on that input. Um, the first one we have up here is the passive cubelet. This one actually does nothing. Um, if you were to use this um, in between two other cubelets, it would, well, not do anything. It would just pass the information on through. So you think of this as a spacer, essentially. It just gives you um, more space to move. So if you had like two of these drive cubelets and you wanted to connect two of them side by side, you would use this spacer, and there you go. Next up, we've got this red guy, which is the inverse cubelet. So let's say we have the bar graph hooked up to a light sensor, and as the light gets brighter, this gets brighter. Well, let's say we want to do the opposite. All we'd have to take is the inverse, put in between, and now it flips it. So the high amount of light will actually now do a low amount on the bar graph. So the inverse is great if you want something to drive faster or slower or actually change the behavior of your robot. So this is the blocker cubelet. So you have this sensor, you have an action cubelet, and you have some of these other cubelets. Let's say you want to connect everything together, but you want to block the signals from going from one side of the robot to the other. So let's say you have a steering robot that will actually steer, but you don't want the two sides to necessarily talk to each other you can use a blocker cubelet, which will actually block the signals from going through. So power and everything still gets through, but you don't have the sensor input feeding out into the other side, so you could use two light sensors to two individual motor drive units, let's say. So these are the cubelets we have for this week. We have eight others on the website, as I mentioned, and um, as I talk about the other eight next week, we'll start playing with these and putting them together and give you some demonstrations of how they all interact together. So next up, we've got these big dome push buttons. We already carry dome push buttons, but these are a new version, which is actually a lot cheaper than the other ones. Um, we're calling these the economy ones. So here's the backstory. A um, few months ago, we had one of our suppliers that we've dealt with that um, sources a lot of other products for us. Um, they told us that they had these new dome push buttons, and we just wanted to check them out, see what they're all about, see if they're any better, or any different than the ones we already carry. And we got the sample in, and it was nearly identical to what we already carry, but it had just a couple little differences. You know, it felt a little cheaper, and it wasn't quite as nice as what we carry, but the price was really attractive. So instead of deciding which one we wanted to carry, we're just going to carry both. So these are the new ones right here, and these are the ones that we already carry. Um, the one thing that you will notice between the two is that the new ones here do have a longer stem on them, and these have a little bit shorter. Other than that, they're about the same. Um, let me take these out. 
and show you the difference between the actual switch assemblies. So they also look very similar. Um, they both have this um, nice little micro switch on it and a nice little click going on. And they also both have removable LEDs in here. Um, we did away with the incandescent lamps a long time ago and both of them actually have LED. These look pretty similar. I will note that these are not interchangeable parts. Although they looked identical to us initially, um, the pieces don't quite fit interchangeably. So let's talk about the actual quality of the push of the button. So we've got this one, which is the new economy. It has a bit of a thud feel to it. It doesn't have that firm click. It just kind of has a dull thud to it. This one, you can hear that spring sound to it. You can actually feel the spring going. Um, if we actually completely take these apart, you can see inside of there that there's a much thicker spring on the inside. The other thing that I wanted to mention about these is the actual lens on the top. This one is not secured in any way, and it just kind of uh, flops around a little bit, which isn't bad. It doesn't come out or anything. It's just not secured. Um, on our current ones, it's locked in place, and it just feels a lot thicker, and this whole thing just seems to um, weigh a little bit more. So um, we have them in the yellow, the green, the blue, the red, and a white, which is actually exclusive to the new ones. We can't get a white in our other button. Um, if you're looking at these and you want to save a few bucks and you need a project that you know, just doesn't need the extra quality or sturdiness, check out these guys. If you want a more quality button, check out the other ones. So lastly, we've got a new robotic development platform. Um, this is the RedBot. The RedBot is a family of a bunch of different products that all kind of work together um, to help you learn robotics and technology. So we have things like the Magician chassis, which this is actually sitting on right now. And we have like the Rover 5, we have Wild Thumper, we have all these little robot chassis, and then they have like a driver board, and then you can put an Arduino on there and all this other stuff. But we don't really have an all-in-one board. What the RedBot does is it gives you this nice all-in-one board that has motor drivers, has an XB header, it's got an Arduino, and it's got all these little headers to connect all your different sensors, servos, and things like that. So this board is kind of your all-in-one solution to driving and building just a basic robot. And this is designed to go directly on top of the Magician chassis here, and it drives it directly with the two motors. Um, we've got a couple line followers in front that I'll talk about in a second, and it runs off just the basic battery pack that comes with the Magician chassis. Inside the kit, we've got the um, unassembled Magician chassis. So here it is. So we've got the laser cut acrylic pieces, we've got the wheels, um, we've got the battery holder, the motors, and then all the hardware bits right there. The Magician chassis kit is really easy to put together. It already comes with the screwdriver, so this whole thing can be put together in uh, 15 to 30 minutes, depending on how closely you read the included instruction booklet. It's only like two pages, so it's pretty easy to read. Um, so once you get that together, this kit also includes the RedBot board, which I was talking about. Um, you also get some jumper wires, and then you're also going to get three of these little line following sensors. Um, these have a little infrared emitter at the bottom and then a um, detector at the top. So it spits out infrared and is waiting for it to come back to it. And as something gets closer to it, it can detect distance. I think it's like three centimeters or so is the range it can detect something in front of it. And because of that reflection, it can also detect the difference between light and dark. So if you were to have like something white and you had a black line across it, it can detect the reflective difference between the white and the black. So you draw a line you know, on a white piece of paper, you set this on top of it, and it can use the three sensors to position the line in the middle, and it can do a line following. And then you're going to get one of these little accelerometer modules. The accelerometer is interesting because it gives you the ability to do bump detection. So if you have this accelerometer mounted on the RedBot, it can detect movement, so you can have a bump detection, so it can be driving along and then hit something and stop, and you can detect that bump and then turn around and go the other way. 
We will be coming out with um, more products for the RedBot. We've got a um, couple different sensor options that we're coming out with eventually. So if you're looking for kind of a nice educational way to learn robotics, check out the RedBot, check out the RedBot kit, um, the line sensors, and the accelerometer. It's a nice little family of products that all snap together really easily, and all you need is a screwdriver to put this thing together, and you get a nice little robot chassis. So there you have it. These are our products for this week. I think this is about the most products we've ever had on this table at one time. Um, we have even more new products on the website, so if you go to the homepage post today, we've got even more to talk about. We will be back again next week with the rest of the cubelets to talk about, and we also have several other new products, so definitely check back next week, and we'll see you then.